Hi everyone, it's me, Sailor Mini Moon, and today I got a rant on another idiot. You know, it's one thing to represent yourself with an anime or cartoon character in a rant or a commentary. I do this from time to time, and I admit that it looks silly, but that's one of the reasons why I do it. But it's another thing for a grown man to sit in front of a camera, playing with a doll, and pretending to be the doll, giving a rant, and being very serious about it. Like, no jokes or anything, just real serious, not even aware of how silly he looks. Like, how do I not make fun of that? Apparently another idiot's come out of the woodwork, or reviewer, whatever term they want to use. Now, first off, Sailor Mini Moon said, Wait, I thought you were Sailor Mini Moon. Why is Sailor Mini Moon talking out loud in third person, questioned Madison Skull. This reviewer basically doesn't like the idea that we don't cut things out of our videos. You see, says Sailor Mini Moon, cutting out things in my videos would require some effort on my part. Isn't it enough that I'm playing with dolls on the internet? Wait, I am a doll, so uh, Sailor Mini Moon says. Well, first off, we don't have to cut things out of our videos. If you do that, it looks choppy and mess up. He's just sitting there, bro. I know, bro, it's pissing me off. He could be out drinking beers and getting some pussy, but instead he's just gonna sit there, like, like not a bro. He's probably a faggot. Yeah, it looks like a faggot. Hey, hey, faggot. <coughs> bro, dude, what the hell did you do to him? Bro, I swear to God, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna kick your ass, bro. I'm gonna kick... <coughs> At least Tolstoy Kafka Evsky looks like he's having fun with his action figures. Now, if you like to go around and cut things out of your videos, that's fine. But don't you tell us we should cut things out of our videos, though. You jerk. I can leave as many unnecessary awkward pauses as I damn well please. Anyway, I don't know what's wrong. I go on your channel and says I got a high-pitched voice. And I like pink. I don't know. I don't know... I don't even want to even consider, uh, don't even want to bring up what sexual preference you probably are. What's a sexual preference? Also, a guy who plays with dolls on the internet is making fun of someone who uses a Pokemon as an avatar. Um, that pretty much speaks for itself. But anyway, that's none of my business. Which is exactly the reason why I brought it up in the first place. The point is, Sailor Mini Moon says, I never saw Sailor Moon as a kid. Uh, could someone please tell me if Sailor Mini Moon constantly talked in third person because if so, I could at least give the guy credit for sticking the character. You also bring up the fact that we don't do different voices. Well, we used to do different voices a long time ago, you idiot. You're an idiot if we're not being aware of the previous work of some obscure ranter, Sailor Mini Moon says. We used to, and we got we didn't got laryngitis on two several occasions, so we don't do that anymore. Does it really hurt to make your voice sound like this? And I know people like you wouldn't know anything about that. What exactly are you trying to imply here? No, no seriously, I have no idea what you meant by that. People with your natural high-pitched voice wouldn't know anything about that, okay? You mean 13-year-olds? Maybe you can go around doing high-pitched and low-pitched voices all the time, but I cer we certainly couldn't. Okay, Dwayne certainly couldn't. Okay, so are you supposed to be Sailor Mini Moon or Dwayne? Because at the beginning you said that you were Sailor Mini Moon, then you, why do I care? Well... Well, what can I say about your thing? You basically try to make it look like that. You basically try to make us look bad. I could do that all by myself, thank you very much, says Sailor Mini Dwayne. First off, for your information, what was going on at one video was Dwayne was trying to put the axe in Kevin Foreign's hand and it kept falling. Which is why he recommended that you cut that part out of the video. Unless you were intentionally trying to make some sort of comedy, I couldn't understand, but going by the tone of this video and that video, that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. What did you think he was doing? Embarrassing himself online? This person apparently, uh, this person has apparently criticized us once again. And would you show the court where on the doll he criticized you? And not really, and I don't even want you to answer that, because I know what sick thing, sick perverted answer you'll probably give me. Hey, hey, buddy. If anyone's a pervert here, it's me. Anyway, Sailor Mini Moon said, 
Apparently you're one of apparently you're one of those people out there that thinks you're supposed to cut things out of your videos. Let's go back to Tolstoy. A lot of people like Tolstoy don't cut up the parts where they're talking in great length because they're able to keep it flowing. However, living pauses where you have to fumble with your action figures or dolls, it's just awkward. Cutting out those unnecessary parts would make your videos I just realized I'm giving someone advice on making videos about playing with dolls. Well, no, that's a choice, okay? And we choose not to cut things out of our videos. And I know it drives reviewers like you nuts. Well, what about the people who actually like to watch your videos? You know, hope for it. That's right. Either it's Adventure Dolls, oh no, it's still video images, oh no. That's right. Everything we do in our YouTube channel drives you nuts. That's right. And it just doesn't, it drives all the haters, hackers, cloners, spammers, and scammers nuts. Yeah, because they're all basically the same thing. We're a bad one. Apparently you have already gone on the opinion that we're just as bad as Christian Western Chancellor. And I really don't know if I'm saying his ancestral last name right or his middle name right. So you're not going to even double check? Okay. But yeah, people tend to think, uh-oh, we're just like him. Well, for your information, we don't do some of the crazy things he does. I don't know. You see, did you see videos where we're busting things? Step into the club with a section of No. Do you see videos where we're showing our room being filthy? You can see our room, or some of our room, but what you see, it's not filthy. So right there, you know we're nothing like Chris Chan. Fair enough, you're not as bad as Christian. In fact, no one is as bad as Christian. Well, except for Christian, but... But like Christian, you come across as a man-child. The same way that I come across as a weeaboo. Are... Are you aware of this in any way? Does that part cross you at all? Yeah, you're some idiot that basically thinks you're cool, and thinks that you're going and thinks that, oh, I'm going to get him to edit his videos. You seem very offended that he even criticized you to begin with. Well, no. You're no different than all those other idiots that either come on and say, uh-oh, get a rivet of Venture Dolls, or uh-oh, hit the edit button. Yeah, you're no different. You're no different from my mom telling me to move out of the house and find a girlfriend. And I don't know your username. I don't know how to say your username. You can't say Jigglypuff? So, but consider you wanted your rant video, here you go. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep! Basically, instead of trying to hurt us, or, or make us stop doing something you don't like, all you do is just make us more popular, and you just get some more video ideas. There's a difference between fame and infamy. So, how about for your next video review, you review me, Salem Mini Moon said, reviewing you. Oh no! <laughs> You and your stupid little high-pitched voice and stuff, okay? I don't even care if you are, you know what. Uh, no, what? Seriously, what can be so bad for someone to be that you can't even say it on your video? Are, are you implying that Jigglypuff might be Swedish? I don't care. As you can see. You're blocked like all the others, so deal with it, okay? I solve all my problems by blocking people for giving me constructive criticism. CONSTRUCTIVE cr Shut up. Your video, okay, you took bits and pieces from our video and you made yourself look cool. You're not. You're not, okay? Stupid sneak that goes around and steals clips of videos like all stupid reviewers do. Stealing would imply that he's taking credit for your work. He isn't. That would be like saying the Mystery Science Theater 3000 stole all the movies they riffed on. And then tries to make them look like that they're bad. Okay. Too bad. You don't like what I do on YouTube? Tough. You don't like edit my videos? Tough. We could say the exact same thing to you. You don't like commentaries on your videos? Tough. You don't like haters? Tough. You don't like people comparing you to Chris Chan? Tough. Deal with it, Sailor Mini Moon says. Well, I guess we all learned a valuable lesson today, Madison Skull says. Sailor Moon Dolls equal serious business. Bye. Step into the club with a section of drugs and the thugs they love to bust love. Oh, step into... It
rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again.